Here with the Colorado College Tigers, just won a uh, five-set thriller in the regional semifinals against Pacific Lutheran and coach uh, Rick Swan, uh, Lizzie Counts, and Jordan Mullen, Mullen joining us. Uh, coach, awesome match. Congrats on the five-set win. Uh, just give us your thoughts. Wow. <laughs> Not all I can say. What It was a uh, just a fantastic, fantastic match to be a part of. Uh, and, you know, Pacific Lou played unbelievable. I'm going to hats off to them. They just threw everything at us that they could, served us off the court, uh, 12 service aces. I mean, they, their serving was spectacular. Uh, and, you know, I just told our kids, we got to keep fighting. we got to keep fighting. We've got to fight for every point. Uh, and I didn't care what happened as long as we kept fighting for every point. That was my biggest concern. And uh, I'm so proud of, the, of this team right now. These, this young group of ladies and the way they played today is just unbelievable. Jordan, you finished with 25 kills, 442 hitting. Before I talk to you, I'm going to talk to Lizzie first, who was setting you up uh, for some of those kills. Uh, talk, talk about her performance, how she was able to get going. She had nine kills in the fourth set, uh, a key set that sent it to five. Talk a little bit about her and how, how she was. It's always just a matter of time with Jordan. She goes off every single game. It's just a matter of when it starts and once it starts it's over for the other team you, i can put any ball up there and she's gonna get a kill or at least get the other team out of system like i'm so confident when i'm out of system there's a bad pass i know i can just throw it to the outside and then not have to worry about it it's very relieving it's nice to have a hitter like that out there jordan that's it's two straight unbelievable matches obviously this one a big one to keep your season going into the regional final just uh maybe through your match what was going through your mind throughout the match what was, how, how did you prepare for this match I think it was really a team preparation. I mean, I mean, like I said yesterday, there's no way that I can get 25 kills without a pass and a beautiful set. Um, and I think it's that's what makes volleyball such an amazing sport. Is it's really there's not one person that can win the game. And I think that us sticking together and not ever breaking um, really made the difference in this game and, and not letting them uh, get into our heads. And, and I'm glad you brought that up, and Coach. I want to ask you about this, Ali Freeberg. Uh, Came through big in that fifth set, had a couple big kills, and uh, you know, really was a uh, almost like I guess a spark plug in a way to get to, to uh, push you guys over the edge and, and get the win. Talk a little bit about her and how she came up big in those uh, final moments. You know, Al Allie's been awesome all year. Uh, hasn't got a lot of playing time because uh, we've had some some great pin hitters, and she's just been killing it in practice. Uh, and we knew that her moment was going to come at some point, uh, and I'm just so proud of her. Uh, and the way she played as a, as a freshman to come out there in that pressure type situation with our season on the line and have no fear and just swing and swing and get kill after kill. Uh, she was amazing. But we've seen it, you know, we've seen it all year long in, in, in practice. I mean, and, and she's come up big in a couple other matches, you know, under pressure where we've, we've put her in and she just gets the job done and I couldn't be more proud of her. Was he talking about the defensive effort tonight? It really, uh, you know, especially those first three sets, I feel like no team could really get in any sort of rhythm. And I, I think a lot of credit obviously goes to the defense uh, in that sense. Yeah. Uh, talk about the effort from the team throughout uh, during the match. Well, we had a really big pregame film session where we watched a ton of film on Pac Lou. So that definitely helped knowing like our defensive scheme and what we needed to do. Um, so that was definitely helpful. I got to shout out our libero, Anna Gravolnik. She did an amazing job. Everybody was working together really well. We had to work out some kinks in the beginning, obviously. Came out to a slightly slow start. They had amazing serving, so we had to step up the serve-receive game a little bit. But we did a great job defending against all their attacks. Uh, and it was just so cohesive. That's my favorite part about playing defense, is that we all just work together. It's all one unit. For Jordan and Lizzie both, we'll go to Jordan first. Just your thought as it goes to the fifth set. We haven't lost a five set match this year. How confident were you when you went out on the court at that point? Fifth sets are crazy for us. We love fifth sets. Um, I don't know what really happens with us. We kind of just like come together in that fifth set, get really hyped up after the fourth set. Um, and then I think our confidence just soars. We got 15 points to get it done, and there's no messing around at that point. So, Yeah, every time we go into a fifth set, we get in the circle, and we all go, we love going to five. Nobody can stop us at five, and it's true. 
Uh, like you said, every game that we go to five, we win. Uh, we come out fast with our energy, and even if we come out slow, there was a fifth set against Southwestern that we were down by seven, but still couldn't stop us. It's a matter of resiliency. Like, this team is the most resilient we've ever been on. We bend sometimes, which is what gets us to the fifth set, but we never break, which is why we win the fifth set always.